Ever wanted to have anything better on your bunk trailer boards to protect your boat than carpet? Carpet eventually wears out, and when your boat just goes wood on wood, this is what happens. Hitting in the side of your hull, damage. You'll never see it because it's covered up by your bunks, but if you ever go under your boat when it's in the water, you'll see it. I want bunks that are durable, self-lubricating, and super slick. Something that's not going to rip over time and smush and eventually degrade my boat hull. If you thought it couldn't get any better, you can actually make them light up. These are Gatorback bunks, the best thing on the market. We're going to show you from start to finish how to install them, how to make them light up, get a full look at their product line. Stay tuned and check out the entire video. So for starters, we're going to pace out where we're going to put lights in these bunks. We're going to have to route a spot to put these lights. These are plush lights. These are the best underwater LEDs on the market. They are really thick. The coating is really robust compared to the standard underwater marine LED. And they're specifically made for projects like this. They hook directly up to your trailer lights once they're on the bunk installed. And we will get to these a little later. And these are the trailer bunks. But these are, these are the sliders we have. These are the full, like, thick. These are really, really high density plastic. The higher the density of the plastic, the more like self-lubricating it is. And you can feel this is very, very slick. And this fits around these, hides the lights as we route through. through. Out from the boat, so the more. Oh, so the farther out. The farther the out, the more light the it's gonna, boat. yeah, the more it's actually gonna shine out. So we're at the very edge. Yeah, let's get a router bit that's thick enough to do that. And we're gonna run it at an inch, an inch on the outside. The most outer part of the bunk is where the light should be. So that's where we're gonna be making the route. I just have a piece of angle there to act as the jig line for this router. And right there on the very edge, we are doing it. Half inch router bits, and it's sunk down, I think a quarter inch, one fourth inch, something. However thick the plush lights are is however thick we went down. They fit pretty seamlessly in the groove. They just need to fit right underneath it. And then they'll have enough power. These are really bright, even with that plastic sheathing over them, they just, the, the brightness of the light just will blind you. These are super ultra high power LEDs. But this one will have to route just a little bit thicker right here at the very end to get that little piece in. But other than that, it fit pretty streamlined with a half inch router bit. Because these are standard pine studs, they need to be preserved in something. Now, they will be submerged in water repeatedly, so that in itself will just ruin these. Base them in oil-based enamel several coats and to make sure it seeps in because it's just studs are generally more dense we're going to be thinning it with just some special brushing thinner or any sort of paint thinner really will thin it so now that they're preserved and dried we can stick the lights in and we can start the installation process these have a little bit of memory to them so you'll have to secure them maybe with a loosely with a clamp on the end until you get them fitted out. And now for the hardware, they send you caps, either for a two by four or two by six. They send you associated hardware and they give you all the hardware to screw into the side, which is really nice. Yep. Maybe smaller ones or just real big ones? Yeah. Oh, look at all that. Yeah. That was all in the one box, huh? Yep. Okay, so then we gotta flush that up. Now that we have our end caps and anchor screws in place, we just want a stable platform so we can go ahead and drill the rest of the screws all the way down the bunk. We are going to pre-drill holes. They give you quite a copious amount of stainless steel hardware to pull this off. Every six inches you're supposed to put one of these screws. So because it's like that, and because oh, yeah. it's a pretty oh, thick, brother. robust screws, we were afraid they were going to crack the wood. So we pre-drilled holes and no cracked wood. Put them down there. The very end cap screws need to be two inches apart. Everything else needs to be six.
we noticed that like the end cap does you're gonna have to ride a little high of the hole to run the wire and hide it under the end cap the next end cap and it's going to come out of the bottom and be completely away from the boat when the boat hits the bunk it can't catch the wire or mess the wire up and then obviously but there was no routed hole through the end cap so we made a routed hole through the wood you can also just drill a hole right through the very, very top of the end cap because the end cap has a higher groove just past what the wood stud covers and you can run a wire that way through it and it'll be completely safe. We didn't think about that until way after we were done with this process. You also have to watch where you route that wire. If you route it an inch from the back, like it says to do, then that one screw will actually go right through the wire. So we didn't put a, a screw there. So just FYI, don't, don't do that. There's ways around it. I actually do another installation of these on another boat and we will be demoing that as well. Later on, we installed them on the trailer while the boat was in the water. It was too dark to film. But we do have video footage of them coming out of the water. They turned out freaking awesome. And they don't just look awesome. They actually perform much better than bunks do. In terms of how the boat slides on, how easy it is to actually kind of finagle it and get it set right on the trailer versus once it's off the water and how well it grips. So it's just all around much better. It's a fantastic product. Whether or not you get them to light up or whether you just get their standard ones, the product is going to protect your boat much, much better than any sort of carpet or any sort of other bootleg mod you've ever seen on a trailer. We ended here with these Bunks fantastic product. And we didn't stop there. We tried to light this entire boat on fire with lights lighted up like nothing you've ever seen before. Check it out as the entire process, this entire series, comes to a close in the end reveal very, very soon to come. Stay tuned, everyone. Tight lines.